How's it going everybody there on YouTube? It's Hate here bringing you another Titanfall 2 video. So as I woke up this morning, I did my normal thing. I checked Twitter to see what's new with Titanfall and kind of catch up with what I've missed from the previous night and day. And I stumbled across a very interesting tweet by Drew McCoy. And it's a response to a tweet that Frothy Omen had tweeted at him. I'm sure a lot of you guys know who Frothy Omen is. He's a big YouTuber when it comes to Titanfall 2. Definitely got a lot of great videos on Titanfall 2. Check him out if you have not already. He says this. GG Nori. Hey, at DK05, I don't know whose idea the EPG was, but give him a hug for me. New main weapon. So, this is where it gets really interesting. Drew McCoy tweets back at Froth the Omen, all part of the hidden underground movement to bring Q3 to the masses. Now, if you don't know what Q3 is, he's referencing one of my favorite games, if not my favorite game of all time, Quake 3. If you followed my channel since the beginning, you've probably noticed that I'm a huge fan of Quake. I played Quake for so many years, over 10 plus years. Me and my brother both played Quake nonstop, no life that game, and we got very, very, very good at it. We started off just playing regular Quake and then moved on to, to Rocket Arena 3 and played a lot of Rocket Arena and just had a blast. I later on moved from Quake 3 and started playing Quake Live since it came out until probably about five years ago when I moved to Hawaii and my ping wasn't stable enough to keep up the high level of competition that I was used to facing. Definitely love Quake and I think that's part of the reason why I fell in love with Titanfall 2 so much. There's so many aspects of Titanfall that remind me of Quake. And I think that's why I grasped on the Titanfall so quick and fell in love with it. I think it's very interesting to see that Drew McCoy makes a tweet like that. He must be a Quake player. You can look at some of the similarities between Quake and Titanfall just in the basic movement mechanics. The fact that Titanfall 2 has bunny hopping, which would be strafe jumping in Quake 3. It's a little bit different, but they share so many similarities. It's almost insane to comprehend how many of there really are if you want to delve deep into it. What I believe he's referencing is like the EPG is almost like the rocket launcher from Quake 3 Arena. If you're unfamiliar with Quake 3, you can shoot a rocket at your feet and jump at the same time and launch yourself into the air. I'm not sure if you could do this with the EPG in Titanfall 2. I'll have to do some testing. I'm sure you'd probably take damage like you did in Quake 3 Vanilla. When Rocket Arena came out, they took away the knockback damage from the rocket from the rocket jump so you could rocket jump around the map and things like that. This got me thinking about before Titanfall 2 came out. I was talking with a coworker of mine about what new weapons they could add to Titanfall 2 to make it a little bit different and maybe add some variety to it. One of my favorite guns in Quake 3 Arena is called the Lightning Gun. Basically, it's a tracking weapon where you track your opponent with them and it does damage over time. When playing the story mode, I don't want to spoil anything, you get a tool called the arc tool, which is eerily reminiscent of the lightning gun from Quake 3. When I was talking to my friend about this before Titanfall 2 even came out, I, I said to him, I hope they come out with a gun like the LG, short for lightning gun, in Quake 3. Maybe we could use a tool like that as an anti-Titan weapon to kind of track a titan and do damage with this weapon over time or even use it against pilots as perhaps maybe a secondary posting some some videos of each stick so you can see the similarities between the two because they're eerily similar so when i saw this tweet from drew mccoy my mouth just dropped 
my heart kind of fluttered a little bit and it brought back so many memories of great times playing Quake 3 and it just reinforced how much more I really love Titanfall 2. I, I feel like Quake slowly died off and Titanfall kind of is filling the void there for me until the the newer Quake Champions is being developed right now and will come out later on in the future. It's really cool to see that some still have that desire to make games like id software did in the, in the past so this got me thinking we already have the arc tool it would be really cool to see maybe in a dlc if we could use that arc tool as a weapon in titanfall 2 in the multiplayer we could use it as a secondary to pull it out and track pilots and do damage just like the lg in quake 3. i think that would be really cool to see happen it would just be something else to add to the game. I mean, they already have it developed for the single player. It couldn't be that difficult to port it over into the multiplayer for us to use. Maybe we could use it as an anti-Titan weapon. The, the possibilities are really endless. So now that gets me thinking, I want to try out shooting an EPG at the ground and kind of see if you can launch yourself up into the air and combine that with some wall runs and maybe do some cool trick shots with it. I just wanted to put this video out there for you guys to maybe give me some feedback. I know a lot of people probably haven't played Quake 3 who maybe view my channel or maybe you guys do. Um, what do you think about maybe using the arc tool in multiplayer? Do you think it could be a possibility? Is it something you would like to see? Let me know in the comment section down below. I think it would be a great addition. I love to see things like that. If you think back, I mean, Quake had a grappling hook too. I mean, there was the, the grappling hook mod where people will grapple around the map, just like in Titanfall 2. And it, I think it's very interesting to see how these similarities fall between Quake and Titanfall. I love both games to death. Um, I'm really happy with what Respawn is putting out. I think it's an amazing game. If you guys haven't picked it up, definitely go pick it up give it a shot you'll definitely love it i i'm still not even through the single player i'm having so much fun playing multiplayer but let me know again in the comment section what you think remember to maybe like share and subscribe if you enjoy this video share this with somebody who plays quake maybe get them into titanfall they're like i said before eerily reminiscent of each other so that's it for this video I just wanted to put that out there. A huge thank you again to Respawn for making such a great game. And as always, I'm Hate, GG, no re. The art of a good death. Until my very last step. The stereo blast past buried gas for breath. The fact I don't care is an invaluable asset. An infallible flow here, not a challenge I haven't met. Forced to find balance in beats and raw talent. Free speech, 